In order to start, please put the attention on the breath for just a moment. Now imagine that you have a zipper in front of your trunk. And this zipper starts at the top of the head and you make it come all the way down to the legs. And you open the zipper. And now you can take a peek inside. And as you take a look inside of your body, you start taking out the bits and pieces. Whether you know them all or not doesn't matter. Some of them might know all the parts that you find in there, others only a few. It doesn't matter. When you get in there and take them out, try to become aware of the feel of them, what they feel like. Also try to become aware of the place where they're to be found. So you take out the liver and put it in front of you and the gallbladder and then the kidneys, the stomach, intestines, the heart, and get a little dish and put all the blood in. Take out the eyes, the teeth, the hair, the nails, the tongue. Now take the lungs out. Take sinews and muscles, tendons, and put it all very nicely and orderly in front of you. If you can think of any other bits and pieces, Take them out, feel them, know where they are, put them in front of you. Now go to the bones. All the bones that you can think of. In the face, head, neck, spine, ribs, arms, legs, feet, small ones, medium ones, large ones. If you are visually inclined, visualize all that. See it with your inner eye. Make a nice neat pile of all these bones and observe them. If you've had anything wrong with any of the inner parts, give that particular part a special place. Or if you've had anything wrong with any of the bones, give that particular bone a special place. Because you would have become interested in that part or that bone. Keep it aside.
Now if you've taken out all the bones, obviously the skin is going to shrink and sort of fall into itself. Look at that. And now inquire, if you don't like doing it, why? If you're totally indifferent to it, why? And if you find it relieving, why? These are your three possible reactions. Find out which one you've got. After having found what kind of reaction you have, start putting everything back in. First, the bones. Try to put them in the right place. And as you do that, you can see that the skin takes on its natural way of being the cover for the bones. And now you take a look at all those bits and pieces that are lying in front of you and try to find the me in there. Having put the bones back in, have a look at the bones. Which one is me? Take a look at liver and gallbladder, stomach, heart, lungs, intestines, the blood, colon, everything you've got lying there. And look and see whether there's a me in there. Have a look at the skin that is now covering the bones again. Is the skin me? We're very concerned with it. We're concerned with its smoothness, its color, its appearance. Have a look at that skin. First it was all shrunk, and now it's even quite smooth again. Does it say me? Any bones say me? Even though it's back in its right place? And another look at all the inner parts. Is there anywhere amongst them, any place that has a me connotation? Anywhere. Now pick up each part by itself, take another look at it, 
feel what it feels like. Some of them you can get replacements for if they should stop working properly. Not all of them. And then, having had another good look and a feel, put it in its proper place. Don't hurry, do it slowly and inquire every time. Are you me? What about the teeth? They can be replaced. The hair. The eyes. The nails. Put them all in their proper places and inquire each time. Are you me? Don't forget to take that dish with the blood and put it back in and inquire. Is that me? Some of the bits and pieces might say, all alone, I'm not you, but together with all the others I am. But then have another look. Take them out again and put them in front of you. All together, all in one heap, the whole lot. All together, are they me? Now, having put all the pieces back into the right place, you close the zipper again. And now, find out how you feel. Are you relieved that the me is all in one piece again? Or is it of no concern or does it change your attitude towards the body? If you feel relieved that you're all in one piece again, recognize the attachment to the body identification. If it changes your outlook towards your own body, recognize the fact that this is the beginning of deep insight. It's 
and less attachment and less craving. And if it's of no concern at all, it may be either indifferent, not wanting to get near that kind of realization, or it can be just a repeat of a realization which is already there. Make sure you find out how you feel at this point. And now, for a moment, put your attention on the possibility that one of those bits and pieces that you have taken out and put back into your body stops to function properly. What's your reaction? Fear, dislike, rejection, worry, or just knowing that all manifestations have the inherent nature of stopping to function properly. Pick out any one of the bits and pieces inside, any one of them, and just for a moment, think about the possibility that it may stop to function properly or stop to function altogether. See, recognize your own reaction. And if your own reaction is one of dislike or fear or rejection, can you see that that is embedded in your life? Because it may happen any time and we know that. And so fear remains with us. Can you see the lack of liberty that is generated by that? The lack of independence. We depend upon all these bits and pieces working properly. And there's no way we can make sure. Can you stand next to yourself as an observer? Look at all these pieces that you have taken out and put back in. Any one of them. 
all of them, and recognize the fact that there's no way that we have of making sure that they keep on being satisfactory. We are always hoping against hope that this will happen. Can you recognize the fear that is embedded in that, that it may not happen? Can you recognize the pressure that such fear generates? And can you see that thereby we are dependent upon the constant uninterrupted functioning of every part of this body. Inquire into yourself what you would do when that stops. And there's only intermittent functioning or reduced functioning or none. Inquire. May people everywhere learn to have less attachment to their bodies and the bodies of others.